Bold climate action is the key to the human future, but we're not going to get bold climate action unless the climate transition is very widely seen as fair. The good news is the green technology revolution. The bad news is that technology is not enough. We'll also need cooperation within countries and between them. And our world is so profoundly unjust, so rife with friction and distrust, that robust cooperation is all but impossible to achieve. Equity is the key, but equity has to be real, and so does cooperation. This means we need an international climate funding breakthrough. Not that money is the whole of the story. We'll also need sweat and tears. But real action demands real funding and not just for mitigation. We need funding for adaptation and loss and damage and just transitions. And this funding has to be almost entirely public. Private capital properly managed may be able to very quickly build solar and wind, but it won't deliver community adaptation or just economic transition or disaster relief on anything like the necessary scale. These will require finance, and that in turn requires the honesty to admit that the climate talks have utterly failed to deliver finance on anything like the necessary scale. This is where honest stock takes come in. But to succeed, the global stock take has to help us shift from half measures to transformative action. And this means action on the scale of the actual need. The global stock take can do this, but only if it is conducted in the light of equity, as is called for by the Paris Agreement. To move things forward, the civil society equity networks have been conducting their own assessments, and they have found that rich countries and rich people are not acting on anything like the necessary scale. And things aren't going to get any easier. It's going to be necessary to very rapidly phase out oil and gas and coal, and doing so is going to raise tremendous just transition challenges at the whole of society level. We need real stock takes that honestly assess the efforts necessary if this phase out and the phase in of a new renewable energy economy are to happen in a fair and successful way. And we need them soon. The bottom line, which we must never forget, is that the climate regime has to be fair enough to actually work.